I'll just hold all of Ash Pose until they sponsor me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, which you guys can see, is an empties video. So I've been collecting these empties from mid last year to like 31st of December. And then from the 1st of Jan, I've started like another set of empties. But I'm gonna include them ones in a different empties video because I'm really sad. Like I have this thing with counting. So I wanna count how many empties I use up this year because I've set myself a little challenge, a little goal to not waste money, not buy new products if I don't need them. If I already have stuff in my collection, just use them up first so this is going to be a good way for me to make sure that i'm using stuff that i already have because it's going to encourage me because i want it to be like a lot of stuff that i've emptied through so all this stuff is stuff that i used last year so i have a variation of body care hair care skin care a little bit of makeup and then i have a perfume so i just thought we would jump straight on in with this video so i'll start off with the first thing that i have like on my left we'll go from left to right so that is a body care some of these i just kept them because i wanted to talk talk to you guys about them so if it's like shower gels because i enjoyed it a lot of the other shower gels i just throw away so this one is from cousins i think it's cousins and this is the comfort bottled magnolia and almond milk shower gel i really like this it smelled so yummy and it lasted me forever i'm a two shower a day gal well i only have two showers sorry when i'm at work so i'll always have a shower in the morning when i'm at work i'll have a shower before work and a shower after work just want to get rid of germs okay but this lasted me a really long time it's a nice big bottle and it smelled really nice so i just wanted to talk about it if I don't say anything, it means I've repurchased it. Next one is also from Cousins. And I really like this one, right? So it's apricot and jungle papaya. Smelt so good. And the only reason I picked this up before I smelt it, obviously, because it smells really yum, is because of the packaging. I am obsessed with this packaging. Giraffes are one of my two favourite animals. And I seen the giraffes on it and I was just like, oh my god, I need this. It's called You're Having a Giraffe. And I love it. So I'd 100% repurchase that because it smelt good. Again, it was really nice. Lasted me ages. The bath room would always smell so yum after i use any of the cousins ones so i would recommend next up oh, i love soap and glory so much i think their products are incredible and i will always love every soap and glory product that anyone puts in front of me just because i really like the brand so this one is the soap and glory clean on me hydrating body wash their stuff smells so good honestly it's amazing so this is the original pink fragrance which is rose and bergamot my favorite scent is rose i love anything rose scented i know a lot of people don't like it because they associate it with like elderly people but i think rose is such a beautiful scent so that's probably why i like this one so much i think it just speaks for itself soap and glory stuff incredible lovely packaging lovely product lasts for ages you can still smell it on your body after you've jumped out the shower as well always leaves my skin feeling nice and hydrated really love this i get a soap and glory set all the time for christmas and it's like my favorite thing ever so yeah would definitely recommend this or anything from soap and glory i've loved soap and glory products for years next up i have these two from the body shop then i've got pink grapefruit and mango but i can't remember what the other one was but these were so lovely i love the packaging i really enjoyed these and considering they're only small they lasted me quite a while as well this is from la roche posay which is my favorite skincare brand in the whole entire world and this is the the Lipicar Syndet AP Plus. So this is an anti-irritation and anti-scratching body wash. So this helps reduce dryness starting in the shower. So I did a massive La Roche-Posay order because I'd spent over a certain amount of money. I got to pick three testers and I seen this one and I thought, oh, that would be perfect for Matt because Matt has eczema so i thought he could try this out and see how he got on anyway so i said to him do you want to try this and he was like no no you just use it i know you like the brand it's fine so i did oh my god this was lovely it was literally so hydrating my skin felt like i didn't need to put any moisturizer on afterwards it felt really nice and hydrated but i also felt clean as well do you know with some of these like products that give you hydration you don't particularly feel clean afterwards but i did when using this i really really enjoyed it it's also suitable for newborns as well so if you have a newborn definitely recommend giving this a go because i really liked it i have very sensitive skin i break out all the time so i feel like i was quite a good test for this i would like to buy matt another bottle and get his opinions on it because of his eczema but for me myself i really did enjoy this so i would think it was worth the money personally i have a don't know how to say it but there we go this is the dead sea water mineral body lotion i really really like this i thought it was really lovely sunk into the skin smelled really nice didn't leave me feeling sticky and i would definitely repurchase it so this product is something i would not recommend at all i absolutely hated this and it broke bit of a backstory i can't use spray deodorants 
because I think I'm allergic to them. I really don't know what it is, but I get a really itchy nose and my nose starts streaming. My eyes burn and get really itchy. My ears get so itchy, it's unreal. And I get a sore throat. Whenever Matt uses spray deodorant, I always get these same symptoms. So I swapped over to cream sticks because I don't like the feeling of roll-ons and obviously I can't use sprays. So I usually use Dove cream sticks. And then I seen this one and this was a Dove maximum protection with moisturizing cream. And this is actually an antiperspirant and I thought, oh, this would be great. I've never tried a proper antiperspirant before usually i just use a deodorant basically you have to like twist the cap and the product all comes out at the top are you actually taking the piss this has actually started working now oh my god that's so annoying i actually can't believe that you are having me on right i'm not even joking so i bought this and i was twisting this for ages literally for like a good 10 minutes and no product was coming out you guys can see this product there and the only reason product was coming out originally was because i had to take this cap off and scoop the product out and apply it with my fingers because i didn't have any of the deodorant until i could buy another one and i've just pulled it out now and i've used it and it's fine like i was literally trying to get this to work for a week and it didn't so the packaging is crap but it's just started working so i'm gonna leave that to the side and i'm gonna give it a go again that's so annoying so next up i'm gonna move on to hair care so i have ooh, two shampoos and a couple of conditioners hair masks that sort of thing so the first one is this one from argan plus a five oil blend this is the strengthening shampoo and it has moroccan argan oil in it i absolutely loved this shampoo so much i think my mum bought it from tk maxx for us for christmas not last year the year before and i had like i I mean look at my hair it's short I don't use a lot of shampoo I literally will buy a new shampoo bottle like every six months I'm not even joking because obviously I don't have a lot of hair I don't need to use a lot of it so it took me a while to get through this but honestly this is one of the best shampoos I've ever used and I loved it so much I felt like my hair felt so lovely and so like luxurious and soft after using it I was really upset when I finished up the bottle squeeze water into it and give it a good shake to try and get as much product out as possible because I really just didn't want it to end but I've been looking in TK Maxx every time we go in and i can't see another bottle of the shampoo only the conditioner so i'm gonna keep having a look but i'll definitely repurchase this because i really really enjoyed it this is a tresemme luxurious moisture shampoo this is okay i thought it was okay i'm a bit fussy with shampoos to be honest not my favorite did its job it lasted me a really long time because the bottle was quite big as well so it was all right this one is from percy and reed this is the i need a hero wonder shampoo hmm <sighs> I wanted to like this, but I didn't. That was leaving a coat and a film in my hair, and then I would dry my hair after washing it, and it would feel so thick and greasy and like horrible. So I actually stopped using it as a shampoo, and I just started using them to shave my legs because I don't buy shaving cream because I'm a tight bitch. It came in a kit with some other products, and the other products I absolutely loved and I've used most of them. I think I have one thing left from that kit, but this didn't get on with my hair. Right, oh, so we have some hair masks now, so I'll start off with my favourite. So this is the Red Ken All Soft Heavy Cream. You will know that I've liked it because I actually cut it in half to scoop the rest of the product down. Oh my god, this stuff smelled so good and was so lovely on my hair. The only thing is I didn't really like the packaging because this lid was really hard to get off. I definitely recommend this, the All Soft red ken shampoo conditioner hair treatment is my favorite that i've ever used it works really nice on my hair when i've got highlights in it definitely recommend if you guys maybe have bleached your hair it's quite dry feel like it needs a bit more hydration definitely try the whole set the whole range this is a hair mask from lush i actually don't know how you pronounce this there it is this is really nice it's got avocado in it you'd pop like a generous amount right from your root all the way down to your tips sit for 20 minutes and then wash it out with your shampoo and conditioner I really like this. I thought it smelled really nice and it lasted me. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, I just dropped it again. It lasted me a very long time as well. I like Lush stuff. I think Lush offers a really good range. Their stuff is quite expensive, I'm not gonna lie. We bought a bar of soap from there not long ago. And oh my god, it literally cost an absolute fortune. Their stuff is worth it because it's always really good. So I did really like this. I thought it was quite nice. Right, so this shampoo is a leaf and seed head first scalp relief shampoo with CBD. I honestly can't remember using this. So it mustn't have been great, but it mustn't have been bad. It must have just been okay. Sorry guys, I really can't remember. So so next hair treatment is the Cantu Sheer Butter for Natural Hair Deep Treatment Mask. I really, really like this. It is very, very thick and very hydrating. I used this on my hair when it was a little bit longer and blonde, just because the ends of my hair when they were blonde, like were very blonde, whereas at the moment I don't really have a lot of blonde in my hair. Like at the bottom, it's all at the 
top but when my hair was long and blonde it was like really matted and when I washed it, it was just an absolute nightmare and this was the only thing that meant I could get brushed through it so I would use this I really liked it but again it is very very thick and very hydrating so if you guys have quite oily hair probably wouldn't recommend using it it also smells really nice oh my god it brings back so many memories because I use this literally from like when I lived at my mum's house my mum and dad's house to move in here so it reminds me of my mum and dad's house oh, it smells really yum I can't quite decide what it smells like really liked it I've definitely repurchased this so these two are some Persine Reed products so do you know what I was saying about deodorant sprays I'm kind of the same with like hairspray and other aerosol sprays so I tried to use these quite sparingly but they were really really good so I have the volumizing dry shampoo which I really liked I have very flat hair I can't remember this actually giving me a lot of volume but it, it was good I really liked it as a dry shampoo and then this is the time to shine oh my shine and fragrance spray spray can't speak and I really like this I really liked it for when my hair was like well due a wash and it was greasy I would spray this on and I would like slick back my hair and it would just add a nice scent to my hair and made it look shiny not greasy right guys we are gonna move on to skincare next and oh my god there's so much of it so I'm really sorry oh <sighs> right we'll start off with cleanser so here I have the beauty crop avocado cleansing balm I tried to get hold of this for the longest time walked into urban outfitters in Liverpool I believe it was and they had them on a stand there so obviously I picked one up one of the best cleansers I've ever used I really like it but I hate ordering stuff offline like I much prefer going into stores and buying things so I really struggle when a brand is mainly online so I would repurchase this if they had it in store somewhere but again I hate ordering stuff online I honestly hate it but I definitely recommend this I really really liked it I thought it was such a good cleansing balm and it really helped get stuff off especially eyes I always struggle with getting liner mascara off that sort of thing but this just made it really easy next up I have the liqueur moisturizing face wash for sensitive skin so this is meant to be a dupe of the simple kind of skin is it kind of skin face wash i can't recall i think it is yeah simple kind of skin face wash and i bought it because at the time we were absolutely skint and the cleanser that i'd usually buy would be the cerave and that's like what seven eight nine plus pounds and i just didn't have the money and i walked past this and i was like i'm just gonna have to try it and hope for the best this was really really nice and especially for the price it was so cheap really nice didn't break me out was just a nice face wash so if you guys are on a budget i'd definitely recommend the liqueur stuff i I have quite a few of the liqueur bits now and honestly they're a vibe they're really really good so if anyone watching this is really strapped for cash or maybe you just want to find a cheap alternative because everything is so expensive these days it's absolutely ridiculous and i feel like nowadays people can't justify spending like 15 plus pounds on certain items definitely just go and check out the liqueur range from aldi because everything that i've tried i've really really liked i have this i have a face mask i've got a couple of other things as well so i have two micellar water is i love my cellar water they're handy for everything if you really want to quickly take your makeup off you can use it to take the visible layer of your makeup off before you cleanse it's just really good stuff i really like it i don't have any preference to brand i just usually get the garnier one because that's usually the one you find in most places but they were both the same i mean they're on my cellar water they're basically the same thing just go for the one that's cheaper next up i'm gonna go in with like a toner slash like skin tonics so i have this one from nip and fab this is the vitamin c fix tonic i really really like this i can't really remember it brightening my skin or anything like that but i would use it very intermittently so that was my fault but i did really enjoy using this my skin always felt really nice and hydrated and just like fresh after i used this and nip and fab still doing skincare because they did do makeup and then they stopped doing makeup the next one is the vegan by happy skin original skin essence toner i don't really know what this was meant to do but it was really nice when i used that i felt like my skin felt a little bit more hydrated than after i just cleansed my skin i did really like it you can either go in and pop it on your hands and like spread it around your face or you can put it on a cotton pad i did a bit of both i preferred putting it on my hands and like patting it into my skin i felt like i got better results that way i didn't know it was like a long lasting effect of using it it was more just every time i used it my skin felt really nice and hydrated so next up is a face mask this is the sand and sky emu apple super bounce mask i really really like this i thought it was really lovely i can't really remember much about it but i remember liking it i would repurchase it. i think i actually have some more somewhere i sounded so scouse then this is the this works 
Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum. This had 2% hyaluronic acid and slow release of vitamin C. I had two tubes of these because my mum didn't want her, so she gave it to me. We got them in glossy boxes and I really, really like this. I love hyaluronic acid. Always makes my face feel really nice and hydrated and nice and plump. I know it's such a difference when I'm using it. You are meant to have a damp face. So what I would do is I would spritz my face with a little bit of water in like a little spray bottle and then I would apply this afterwards and oh my god my skin just looks so lovely looked plump hydrated youthful glowy all the things that everyone wants and more i've got the balance active formula vitamin c brightening serum glow and radiance with active vitamin c it was okay i didn't really notice much of a difference when i was using it so this is the number seven youthful replenishing facial oil and i loved this i thought it was so lovely it didn't break me out my skin felt so nice and glowy i get a lot of compliments when i was wearing this as well a lot of people were like oh your skin just looks really plump fresh glowy hydrated and your skin just looks really nice and clear so i definitely recommend this i really want to buy another bottle i don't actually have any face oils at the moment so maybe i could justify myself buying one here we have of course from la roche posay my favorite skincare brand ever there's quite a few la roche posay items actually we'll go through all of them now this is the la roche posay effectless serum ultra concentrate so for a birthday i asked for the telerian range which is stuff that i usually get but they didn't have it in stock so she got me the effectla range instead so she got me this serum and then she also got me the anti-imperfections moisturizer as well i might as well just speak about both and i thought oh i don't know how my skin's gonna get on with this because previously whenever i've used anything that has been from the effectla range back when my acne was really really bad before i went on roaccutane it did not work well with my skin at all so i had a bit of like a mm, i don't think this is gonna work it might make it worse but we shall see oh my god my skin much prefers this now <laughs> it's crazy so now that my acne has calmed down i just get the odd like hormonal sort of spot this stuff was so good it kept my skin clear i absolutely loved this i thought this was so good and i also loved this so yeah i really like both of these and i'm looking at repurchasing them but i do have a couple of other bits in my kit at the moment i want to use up before i repurchase some stuff but i honestly really really like these so if you guys are like me hormonal breakouts give it a go if you guys have acne maybe be a little bit careful maybe get the tester kit see how you get on because when my acne was bad anything and everything would aggravate it and this was included but now my acne is nowhere near as bad worked really well for me here i have two of the la roche posay and the Elios 50 plus spfs these are facial spfs i love these i've literally gone through countless bottles of these i need to go and repurchase some more I use it every single day it makes my skin feel really nice and dewy and hydrated and healthy it doesn't break me out it's just my favorite facial spf ever i recommend this to everyone i just think it's a really good facial spf that everyone needs to try you can get a 30 plus one as well i don't want to age so 50 plus for me so i have these two here so they are both the telerian creams just one's a tester and this one's a full size i love the telerian range it's like my favorite from the roche posay it is for sensitive skin so if you guys have sensitive skin or if you guys are breaking out but you can't quite figure out why you're breaking out so it might be that you guys have sensitive skin and you need to try something that's going to help with your sensitive skin and then you'll stop breaking out try it it's really good here i have two of these simple kind of skin moisturizers so i've got the light one and the rich one like these they were nice they're nowhere near as nice as my la roche posay one if you guys are skint and you just don't have the money to go out and spend 15 plus pounds on a moisturizer which i completely get just give these ones a go i think you can pick them up for like three four pound from like your supermarket so might as well try them so this one here is a perfume from commodity oh my god love this perfume so much so this is paper from commodity and this is the scent space personal so they have three different scent spaces one's light one's medium one's strong every time i would wear this i would get compliments and i didn't realize how expensive it was so i was wearing it every day in work because i really like the smell i think personally for perfume like i wouldn't spend more than Mm, 40 pound on perfume any of my more expensive perfumes i get bought for me as gifts which i'm obviously really appreciative for but for myself i just wouldn't go out there and spend a lot of money yeah it's pretty pricey but smells so good oh there's the tiniest little bit left i have one more tester but i'm being very careful with it oh smells so good so these are apple cider vitamin gummies and they've got vitamin c in them as well and they're from you so 
The collagen that I usually drink is from Ugaia and I placed my most recent order which was actually quite a while ago now and I got these for free and do you know what I really like them they were a really nice taste. I don't know whether they actually did anything or not because I take them very intermittently so I didn't take them regularly enough to notice sorry there's dust flying around everywhere um i didn't take them regularly enough for me to notice a difference in like my skin or anything like that but i really like them so i just thought i'd add them there's only three left by the way because they went off i shouldn't eat them but i want to because they tasted really yummy they tasted like sweets they were really nice the reason i've stopped taking my collagen by the way i really need to get back onto it but i was speaking to my gastroenterologist and she was saying that when my colitis is flaring up until I've got it completely under control, I actually don't take in any nutrients. Anything that I eat is not actually gonna give me any nutrients at all. So I thought, why am I spending so much money on collagen getting shipped over to the UK when it's literally gonna not work because my colitis was bad? So I have a tub that is open. <laughs> it's literally full. I think I've used one scoop of it and I'm waiting for my colitis to be completely under control until I can start using it again because what's the point in spending all that money when my stupid body is not working? Next up, we have some makeup items so first of all this will come as no surprise for anyone that is a regular on this channel this is the p louise basin shade room 02 love this stuff i recommend it to everyone it's the best eye base it is a literal dupe for the old mac one i think it was mac's like cover up that mac decided to discontinue and absolutely shatter my heart but then p louise came out with this absolute beauty so she saved us she saved the makeup community because we needed this love this stuff the best base makes colors look really vibrant nothing creases it lasts all day and i love love it and i think everyone should buy it because it is so good there's loads of different shades as well next up is a primer that i'm just not ready to let go i'm not i'm just not ready for it this is the nip and fab primer but as i mentioned earlier on nip and fab actually don't do any of their makeup anymore and if anyone from nip and fab is watching this video which i know they definitely won't be and um, but you never know because my wishes for sephora to open up north came true not in liverpool but in the trafford center i wonder when that's opening i'm so excited oh yeah anyway so i was saying i manifested for sephora to open up north and now it's happened so maybe i can manifest for nip and fab come back out with their makeup so yeah if anyone from nip and fab is watching this which they definitely won't be but i'm just gonna put it out there anyway into the universe manifest this stuff you need to bring this primer back because if you don't you're gonna have a very unhappy customer and that unhappy customer is me i loved this primer it was so hydrating made my makeup last all day i never had a problem with this primer and then they stopped doing their makeup and it really upset me and i had two bottles of it and i really tried my best to make them last as long as possible and then now they've come to an end because both bottles are gone i'm so upset because i love this stuff so much i'm so good at this i've used or but yeah i would definitely repurchase this if i could but i can't because they've discontinued it while they do this to me anyway sorry guys got a bit emotional there so this is the benefit bad girl bang mascara this is all completely used oh i really like this mascara i love the wand on it it's like a silicone wand and it's really thin so i could really get in because i have a problem getting into these very inner corner lashes here i really struggle to get in there without making a complete mess but oh my god this was just oh, loved it really nice mascara here we have the revolution conceal and define conceal it in the shade c4 this is my perfect shade if i wanted to just use it all over my face i feel like i don't really need to say a lot about this because i did use it in a lot of my makeup tutorials but this is probably one of my favorite concealers ever there we have it and the hydrating one's really good as well okay so we've got three more items now and these are things that i've had to get rid of not because i wanted to i know actually one i wanted to but the other two i've just had to so the first one is the one that i wanted to get rid of and this is a lip pencil from revolution in the shade grande and i've got rid of it because i'm just going to be completely honest with you you could slice someone with this it's so dry like i went to use it i think i literally used this like once so it's completely dried up it's crumbled this is audition from 17 this is like their old packaging and i've had to get rid of this because i think it's gone moldy oh i don't know whether you can see it but anyway trust me when i say i think it's got mold on it see so yeah, i'm just throwing it out just to be certain oh god the packaging's all fallen to pieces as well this is the sexy mother pucker soap and glory lip gloss in the shade candy queen i'm getting rid of it because the lid broke good lord i couldn't put the lid on it and it just pop open and then this would open and there'd be lip gloss literally everywhere so yeah i'm getting rid of it because of that 
I'm honestly gutted because this is such a beautiful colour. But I do have some more in my collection that I really need to use up because I've had them for ages. Definitely repurchase that shade because it's so lovely. I love the Soap and Glory lip gloss. So that is everything that I've used up last year. I do have some more stuff in here, sneak peek, that I'm collecting for another empties. But I didn't want to include them in this year's ones because as I mentioned earlier on, I wanted to try and keep track of how much I'd use this year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video.